is C, and thank you for joining me today for Microsoft Forms. I am Danielle Olson, and I am the Microsoft Learning Consultant Program Manager and a former high school English teacher. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use Microsoft Forms to easily create quizzes and forms for data collection. So come with me on this very quick tour of Microsoft Forms. So I've navigated here to my forms landing page, which might look different for you than it does for me, but this is the new forms experience that is currently rolling out to all tenants. From here, I can see the forms that I've already created as well as either create a new quiz or a new form. There is a difference. A new form is used to collect data while a new quiz is used for formative assessment and it is self grading. So we are gonna go ahead and um, create a new quiz And from here, you're going to give that quiz a title. And then once I've given the um, quiz a title and some directions, I'm going to click Add New and I see my question types. And you can see here that we have several different um, question types from choice all the way to a ranking and as well as a, a file upload. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create a choice question here. All right, so I've added a choice question and a couple of things to note. When I add those choices, I can deliver feedback to students and also choose the correct answer. So since following lab procedures is the correct answer, I'm going to select that. And then I can deliver feedback to students um, here as needed. So, look over notes and then once students get their grades back from this quiz they'll be able to see that feedback i'm going to add in the number of points this question is worth as well as make it a required question and then here in the ellipsis and this is in all of the question types this is where i can shuffle those options so the option choices will be shuffled for each student who's taking the quiz um you know to kind of dial down on maybe um, a student looking over another student's shoulder and I can also make those um, question options a drop down as well. Forms also has um, a math option in it. So for my um, science teachers, my economics teachers, for my math teachers, you can also add in math options by clicking the ellipsis. So you can see here that I have created a new choice question and I um, go to the ellipsis and I choose math and now I can click on here to enter an equation and I get a, a math calculator. So I'm just going to do a simple linear equation here. Um, and then once I drop that equation in, I'm given the suggested results. So I can just click add all and those results drop in um, as options for students to choose when they take this quiz. I don't have to figure out what I want my answer choices to be. The AI built into two forms allows me to just click add all and those answers are already added to the quiz. All right, so here I am in another quiz that I've created that has um, all of my questions ready to go, including the ability to drop in a video for students to watch. And now I wanna share it with my students. So I'm going to click this green share button here to look at my sharing choices. So I have two sharing permission options, either at people in my organization can respond. And basically this is great for, um, you know, having students log in to take the quiz. So it's a secure um, environment. Students have to use their Office 365 credentials to take the quiz. And my responses are then recorded with student name, their email address, the time they started and submitted the quiz. Or I can choose anyone with the link can respond if I want people outside of my organization to be able to enter in their information into either um, a, a form or a quiz. I can deliver that quiz by the link. I can generate a QR code. I can embed my form into a website or I can email that form as well. Additionally, by clicking on the ellipsis, I can go into my additional settings in forms as well. And I can turn on or off that option for whether or not I want the results to show automatically when students submit the quiz. 
I can also decide if I want only one person, I'm sorry, only um, a student to take the quiz one time, or if I uncheck this um, box, then I can get more than one response so students have the opportunity to take the quiz again. Um, and then also this is where I can have a start and an end date as well. So if I you know, want to make sure that just um, a certain group of students takes the quiz at a certain time, I can click start date and end date, and I can um, customize those as needed. And then I also have the option here of a progress bar, which I'm gonna demonstrate for you in just a few minutes. In addition, inside of these extra settings in the ellipsis, you can also print a form. So if a student needs to print the form out, they have that op option of printing, filling out the form, and then maybe snapping a picture and uploading it as well. All right, so here I am inside of the quiz that I have you know, shared with my students. So this is what the quiz looks like when you deliver that link to students. And I can um, go through, I'm told that I, uh, my name and email address will be collected in I, when I submit the quiz. And then I can come down here and I can um, choose my answers. I could watch this video and then select my answer, et cetera, et cetera. And down here is that progress bar that I was um, sharing with you. So students now know that they have um, another uh, two pages to go. And I'm going to submit that quiz. And now um, I'm going to go back and show you all what the responses look like. Here I am back at the teacher view of forms and I'm navigated over to the responses tab, which is to the right of the questions tab. And I can see how many responses to the quiz that I have, as well as the average score. And this is also where I get um, a really nice visual of where my students are, what they, how they've answered. There are some nice pie charts that are interactive that I can hover over to see, you know, the percentage of students who answered the different um, answer choices. I also can review answers as well from here for each of my individual students. So here are Christy's answers. Um, and I can see which answers she got incorrect. And then I can toggle through to the next student. I can see how much time it took them to complete that quiz. And I can give feedback as well from here. So additionally, with the results, um, besides just seeing the review answers, I can also open those results in an Excel spreadsheet. So I can see here the names of my students, their email addresses, and then their answers for each of the questions and um, what point percentages or what point um, points they earn there. And then once I'm ready, I can go ahead and click post scores. I can see a preview of these scores here and I can go ahead and post those scores so students are able to use the same link that they used to take the quiz. They're going to be able to um, see those scores posted as well. And finally, I can also add forms as a quiz assignment inside of Microsoft Teams. So I'm gonna to navigate to my team and to the assignments tab. I'm going to click create and quiz And then I'm going to search for the quiz that I want my students to take here. I can fill out the rest of the, um, the rest of the assignment, give some instructions. Um, decide which students are going to get this quiz, set my due date and go ahead and click assign. And here's the student view of that quiz inside of Teams. The student simply clicks on the quiz. The quiz opens inside of Teams. That student can fill out the answers to that quiz. And then they can click here to view their results. And the grade is automatically entered in the gradebook in my version of Teams as the teacher. 
Thank you so much for joining me today for this quick walkthrough of Microsoft Forms for formative assessment. Please go to education.microsoft.com for more information, free resources, courses where you can take them and earn badges, and also enter in this code that's on this slide to earn a badge for today's presentation, um, as well as get more information about forms and all things Microsoft tools for EDU. I've also crowdsourced a wakelet for y'all with um, a whole bunch of forms resources as well. So you can use the wakelet link that's here to um, get a whole bunch more information about how you can use forms in your classroom. Have a great time at ISTE. Thank you so much for joining me.